Welcome. My name is Lenka Pichlíková and uh, I would like to tell you a little bit about a uh, course in Prague. Prague is the lively, artistic, architecturally beautiful capital of one of the most cultured nations in Europe. There is history at every corner going back to the 1900s. It is the city where Mozart composed Don Giovanni and conducted the opera for the first time. The Czechs take theater very seriously, even under communism. When I lived and worked in the city as a professional actress, there were more than 200 theaters active. At the end of the communist era, during what was called the Velvet Revolution, in 1989, the theaters became the meeting places where the revolution took place. This is important because our course focuses on a remarkable theatrical artist, Václav Havel, who started as stagehand uh, at the theater on the balustrade in Prague, went on to write plays, became famous for his work internationally. He ended up being a dissident with uh, many theater people and intellectuals supporting him. And he was imprisoned by the communist regime for over four years. Samuel Beckett, author of Waiting for Godot, dedicated a play to Havel while Havel was in prison. In 1989, Havel became the focus of the Velvet Revolution, led the country to throw the communists out of power, and became the first president of post-communist Czechoslovakia. We will visit uh, the theater on the balustrade, and we will have our classes in the dramatic arts faculty called Damu, where Havel studied, and where the current dean became the director of the theater of the balustrade after the fall of communism. Uh, there is a photo on the loop PowerPoint um, with the, by then, President Havel visiting her with Robert Redford. But we won't stop at Havel. Uh, we will look at dissident political theater, at the history and culture of Prague, at the important Jewish community there before World War II, and once again, we will visit the Jewish monuments, but also the castle where the kings used to live, and the office of the Czech president is still located. We will travel for one day to Český Krumlov with its 13th century castle and a functioning original 17th century Baroque theater. We will attend plays, black light theater performances, and musical events. Prague is a wonderful place to come to know Central Europe. You will learn to analyze and study plays in their context, especially the psychological and political concerns of Czech theater in the later 20th century. The Museum of Communism and the Václav Havel Library will be resources for us and interesting in themselves. Students will study, produce, and perform one of Havel's plays. And all students, no matter what their background or major is, can contribute through set, costume design, photography, music, helping to direct, stage management, and what is called dramaturgy, helping the actors to understand the play. We will have lectures and studio sessions at Damu, and we will stay at an apartment hotel uh, owned by Damu's parent organization, the Academy of Performing Arts. Simple but comfortable rooms refurnished last year. There are bathrooms, refrigerators, TVs, Wi-Fi, and doormen 24-7, and kitchens on each hall, literally underneath the castle. The American Embassy and Library are across the street. There are greengrocers, shops, pubs, and one of the most spectacular Baroque churches in Europe, not to mention a lively square within three minutes' walk. We will go uh, across the famous Charles Bridge over Vltava River to class each morning, just like people did for 700 years crossing this lovely church. You will have the opportunity to engage 
in authentic cross-cultural experiences by eating in restaurants, visiting pubs, shopping, going to performances, at street festivals. There will be a celebration of Bastille Day, which we will enjoy on the 14th of July, and enjoying a vibrant city with beautiful walks by the river, um, and important medieval, a Renaissance, Baroque, and 19th century neighborhoods and buildings. And there is a whole street of Art Nouveau buildings leading from the main square to the Jewish quarter. So the course qualifies for the SUNY General Education Arts or Humanities requirements and also counts as an upper level elective credit for theater and performance majors. And I'm looking forward to be working with you in summer 2020. If you'd like to talk to me, I have testimonials of students who joined me and actually there was a student who found roots coming from Czech Republic. So it had a great meaning for him and I will also teach you the language so that you can go by every single day shopping, uh, ordering stuff and functioning on your own. Thank you so very much.